what is up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having an awesome day today so check this out so the guy is supposed to be bringing me over the 1.8 in a couple days so um, I actually need to get this 2.0 out of here so today's goal is to go ahead and pull off the front this radiator support um, and see if I can get this out of here so we'll start with the lights first um, I think they're like some eight millimeter right there. So we'll start with the lights first, grab both of the lights out of here. Don't know how it's supposed to be, but I can feel you turn me around. If love can go sideways. So with this bumper right here, the complicated part with this bumper is these ones that are at the bottom. One, two, three right there. Those at the bottom are complicated and hard to get out. So be careful with those. So now that I got the bumper off, I need to go ahead and pull the front bumper off. I think it's like a couple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and right I won't here. video bro but you came in clutch with some of these two bruh all right front radiator support is off and now I just need to clean up all of this harness and figure out what I'm gonna do with this harness and go ahead and pull those motor mounts out what are y'all doing Land in the box but I need to pull that out and then yeah that's that Now we're just going to get that alternator off and maybe the compressor. I was going to pull it off all as one and just go ahead and release uh, that that mount right there, this mount right here, and there's another mount right there that I was just going to take off and just drop the whole thing and maybe the subframe too right here. That's what I might just do and just drop the whole thing. And I'm probably gonna need this bracket for the 1.8 build. So I will hold on to that. So I pretty much uh, got a lot of stuff off. Uh, today I got a majority of the wiring harness out of the way and off of the block. Um, this ball of fun right there was the coolant system. Managed to get all of that out. Uh, the whole front clip is off. So now I think to go ahead and take off that one motor mount right there and uh, just go ahead and unbolt the rest of the block from the transmission. Um, I just got my jack holding it up right now, but I can go ahead and unbolt that and that should drop and I should be good to go from there. Um, yeah, and then I could put the 1.8 in whenever that comes or however that works out for me. This is my question to anybody who knows um, my, my question was my question was this with the 1.8 swap will this wiring harness work with the 1.8 now I've never did a 1.8 swap before um, I know it's out of the mark 4 um, but I don't know if this wiring harness uh, will work or would I just need just a couple plugs off of that harness and can um, just make them work with this harness um, I'm unsure about that but that's another part that I get to learn when doing the swap and I also need to know if the 2.0 ECU would work with this 1.8 um, that's another curiosity of mine so I got some couple things to figure out but yeah and if anybody was curious, yes, I am going to shave this bay and tuck away the harness. And I am going to paint it. But this time, uh, I want to paint it better than I did that one. And yeah, I just want to do it better. So this is going to be my third time painting an engine bay. Hopefully this time, 
I can get it better than the first time. Well, better than the second time. I will see if I can find a picture of when I first, my first time ever um, painting an engine bay. It was on my Civic. It was all green and it looked really good. It was a single cam. I pretty much did the whole thing, swapped it over, switched it over to a manual, um, switched it over from automatic to manual. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty, it was a fun swap for me. But I'll put a picture up on that up on the screen. And yeah, so this is going to be my third time doing it. I did it with the white car, with the Mark IV right here on this engine bay. But um, I could have did it better. It's not bad now, but I've just been working in this engine bay so much. So I think I just want to change the color and not do it uh, white. So I don't know. I was thinking a darker color, not black. I do not want to do black, but I was thinking a darker color. So I don't know. Maybe like dark blue or something like that I don't know but I just want to do a darker color but that's my thoughts you can leave yours down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next video